Now, children and adults kidnapped, tortured, and beheaded. Horrifying reports of atrocities carried out by Islamist rebels keep coming to RT from the rebel occupied Syrian town of Adra. At least 80 people were massacred there, but as the army advances on their rebel held positions, the number of civilian casualties could rise, and the city remains cut off. But our crew got to speak to a few survivors who managed to escape. Terror still fills the hearts of those who witnessed the militants entering the town of Adra. They saw panicked, disoriented people running for their lives, and they ran themselves. They will never forget the despair in the eyes of those who were forced to stay behind. We have no reliable way to communicate with the people trapped inside Adra, but officials are saying the atrocities against the civilian population are continuing. People are being butchered and even burned alive, and every bit of news coming out of the town is dealing a new blow to those whose families are still being held by the militants. Everyone working for the local authorities was to be killed, regardless of their religion or denomination. They were all taken to be killed. They took everyone, even those who supported neither the government nor the rebels. They were all either tortured, killed or used as human shields. The things being done in Adra are unthinkable. They're slaughtering children and throwing them out of windows, and no one's doing anything about it. Syrian authorities, as well as human rights organizations, say they have evidence confirming that massacres have taken place in Adra, Sadat, Latakia, and many other areas, which remain under the control of the armed opposition. The situation in Syria has now deteriorated to the point that international norms of combat are no longer being observed. Adra is an industrial town with a lot of its residents working both in the private sector and for government agencies. Horrifying crimes have been committed in this town. Houses were set on fire with people trapped inside. The Syrian army, which is positioned just outside the town, continues to carry out surgical strikes as part of their effort to liberate Adra, which is now the only hope of the families waiting for news of their loved ones inside the town. Abu Taleb, Abu Haya, RT.